Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 Follow my career Fakwa Freights, a subsidiary of SD Logistics as we continue our Conquering Britain series. You join us in Birmingham. We're already loaded up. We've got 22 tons of potatoes. We're delivering them in North here to <laughs> Newcastle. We've got Northampton. We'd be going, uh, yeah, wrong way. We're going up to Newcastle with them. So let's get going. So we're just pulling out the UPS at Depot. Turn left. Turning left. This should be a nice little job for us today. I think it was about 23 grand. It was the highest paying job uh, within uh, a UK delivery coming out of Birmingham. There was uh, a load of cars going down to London, which I was hoping would be better paying, but unfortunately it wasn't. So that's why I took this one. There were two uh, jobs within Birmingham uh, but they both ran out within like three minutes so I probably wouldn't even got to the site to get them if not it would have been nice to have done a little a little double run within Birmingham earn a few pennies uh, under a grand each but it would have been nice just to you know two, e two easy drop offs I should imagine this one will take us you know, half a day at least won't it with my driving and these lights, you know, takes time, takes time. Um, hopefully the voice is going to be all right. Uh, recording this one after England just beat Switzerland. So, not that there was a lot of screaming and shouting. I was, I was more clapping because, you know, weren't a lot to scream and shout about until the penalties. And then I was just, just pleased, just pleased that, you know, the boys did it. Did a really nice job of it as well. I wasn't exactly confident. England don't have the greatest track record of penalty shootouts. So yeah, on to the semis we go. But that's enough football talk. We're here for the truck in and YouTube. <laughs> so this week, this week's big big thing this week is um, obviously farm sim and it's 25. We started seeing parts on it last week. I can't remember if I chatted about that already. But the uh, this week obviously was um, FarmCon. FarmCon's still going on. Day one has finished. And the bits that have, we've seen leaked from the uh, Giants partners that have uh, put stuff out on their social media, I'm, I'm starting to be more impressed. Visually, it was always looking good, I think. Um, I think they went a little OTT on the fog, but I think it's, it's, looking, it's looking nice. And they were showing, and hopefully we're going to get some some YouTube videos of it from Giants themselves in the coming sort of days, weeks. Hopefully by the time this one comes out we will have had some. Turn left. Uh, but they were showing off screenshots of um, terrain deformation, which looks good. It, I mean, it looked good, but until we get to see in gameplay and how the vehicles react with it and how it affects our fields, we really don't know. But it's there. Whether it works just like tracks or, or what, I don't know. I'm trying to think. In the um, in the footage that we saw uh, from the pre Barncon street, street, the the vehicles then didn't leave anything. Um, they had two harvesters on fields, done different harvests, and one of them was in water, obviously, so we didn't see nothing. But there was one on dry land. So, yeah, we need, to, we need to see more of that, how that is. It's, and they, they're not calling it train defamation. I think they call it something else because people, they don't want Keep to get confused with, like, how mud is in, in snow runner and stuff, and mud runner and stuff like that. It's not like that. But let's be interesting to see how that affects things. Um, In-game GPS looks, looks decent. And the AI worker... And looks a little bit more like course play, which is nice. Um, from what I gather from reading from those that were at FarmCon at the announcements, um, it's something that can be built into maps by mappers and modders for the AI to work. So you have to actually do that on the modding side for maps. Excuse me, what I itch. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that works, how that's all implemented within game. 
and yeah, a few other things. They shared some more s screenshots from the uh, the American map, which is sort of a, a Mississippi one of that area. It's not going to be no UMRV, but it, it should be nice. Uh, I did see uh, that I'm f unfortunately still on console and on PC, really. A nice map, standard map. It's still going to be a two by two, a two kilometer map. They're not they're not going any larger. Which is a shame. I think a larger map would be nice. I sometimes think it's too easy to traverse and get around a map. It feels quite small. You're not really travelling far to do anything. Like for your deliveries. You know, if you you know everything's right on, on your doorstep on a small on a small map. And I'm you know I don't have to say I, I enjoy a small map. I like the small European maps and stuff like that, but when you're on like an American one or a larger open European one or even a British one, you want like for me, I'd like to be able to have to travel to deliver stuff. Not just pop to the field next door. So that's that's the reason I'd like larger maps to be a, a standard thing, but we can't all get what we want. GPS, better workers, that's something we want. Some sort of terrain deformation. Deformation. Not defamation. I, can't, I just can't think of the word that they use. It's not that. Um, but yeah, that 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 looks an improvement. So you know, it's coming along. But we need to see some actual live gameplay, not not things that are pre-recorded in a tested environment so much. Even if it's like a, a live demo or a recorded demo. I mean, it's in, in an environment. It's going to be selected and edited and, and whatnot. But at least we can see it in action and get a visual feel of how things are going to work. Better physics is still what we're after. We want to see bales and trees, you know, logs and stumps and, and things like that reacting and working better. But that's, uh, yeah, so FS25 is looking promising. Uh, as for the trucking, uh, I have finally, finally updated um, Euro Truck to uh, 1.50, I think we're on 0.31 or 1.3. Um, so we're still back an update because we're on the latest version of Pro Mods um, 2.70. I think they released that, and then within a few days there was a, an update for the Euro Truck. So we're actually on the uh, the newer version. So we've got the new overlays and. UI and stuff like that, whatever improvements that entailed. I've been running it on ATS for a while, so I don't want any uh, pro mods on ATS. Turn left. Just watching that in the mirror. I do use them sometimes. I just have a nice run on ATS. Uh, uh, by now, it'd been uh, about a week and a half ago, so hopefully I've had more, more than that since then. Uh, did about 1,600 miles one right. evening, just just relaxing. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to stick ATS on. on the, I'm just going to run a job. Went from uh, down in southern Texas up Turn to left. Billings, Montana. So yeah, 1,600 miles was a good trip. Picked up a few fines because and I was worried it was going to happen again today. Uh, as soon as I pulled away in my truck in ATS, my wheel got stuck at like 40 degrees, 45 degrees. So when it was set and centered, it was at 45 degrees. Things were a little bit off. So I kept righting myself and then obviously going by my wheel, righting myself and uh, <laughs> kept smacking into other vehicles. But it's, it's not done that today for ETS, so we should be all right. Yeah, it was a little bit off. It took me a little while to get used to it. Now I get driving like for quite a while in a straight line and, then we come off a slip road on a slip road, have to get around some traffic or around a diversion type road works or a police cordoned off bit. Do that little weave and about with it. Because I tend to keep my hand on the on the little um, notch at the top that tells you where the centre is. So I, I pull that round to the top and bang, it's smack in a car. <laughs> or I pull it round and we wouldn't be far enough, far enough over. And we just deal away. But we're looking good today, we're looking good. No troubles please. 
Uh, we shouldn't have too many issues with speed in today because 22 tons is probably a little bit heavy for my Volvo. So we are foot down, flat out, just about going to get to 55, 60 there. There we go. We're topping out downhill, so that's good. Uh, I think I've turned off the warning for heavy loads. I don't recall. I think I have. I was going to switch on to my other profile so I could try and get over to Switzerland and uh, get whatever jobs I need done on there. I'm not sure how long that's got left. I'll have to check because I haven't done any. Because on Euro, obviously, I run this profile. And we're not going into Europe. We're just in, uh, in Britain. So I do have my second profile that I need to uh, shimmy on over there. I might have to fast travel and um, just try and pick them off one evening. See how things go. Speaking of seeing how things go, we are speeding now, so I do have to be careful. Look at that nice clean over. Uh, some of the guys don't like the new overlay. I like the new overlay. I think it looks nice. So yeah, potatoes, 22 tons, uh, going to Aldi, uh, Newcastle, uh, 23,000, just under 24 grand. Uh, we've got nine, ten hours remaining. We're about four hours out. 195 miles to go. Nice, nice and simple. Nice and simple. As you saw, we do have a fair bit of um, cash as well now. 325,000. So we shall new truck, new driver at the end of the delivery again. That is becoming a nice thing that we're doing at the minute. And it's sort of reaching that snowball now, whereas we'll just keep making that money, we'll just keep growing and it's thus now going to start to make the conquering of Britain a little bit easier because obviously we need to buy up all the garages, have them running. We've still got obviously some cities and whatnot we need to visit. Before we headed out today we did do a double sleep because we finished off just before six o'clock so we slept through until about half two, three o'clock and then we slept through until whatever time it was when we started. Uh, but the time soon goes, it's already now Keep 3 o'clock. Go straight. Coming over. Noise. Yeah, I'm still um haven't had a lot of feedback on on whether to do Go jobs straight. jobs off screen. I mean, I can show you my log, and we can have a quick run through before we uh, before we go, or I can you know read it off as we're driving, and I just sort of pop it up in editing so you guys can see where we went. It's one option. I think um, Simi Dad said he'd be cool with a a log check at, at an episode or two, just to run through anything I do do what do do anything I do do off screen. I think that's, that's the only way it's really going to propel things. I think, having this one recorded, I think next week uh, we may be able to go live. We'll check with what family plans are for that. If not, that'll have to be a recorded one. As this one goes out this morning, I will be at the, <laughs> the Jump Play Centre with my boy. Got a birthday party to go to. Trampolines and all that. Birthday party, up past nine in the morning. It's a good way to start the day. <laughs> it's not the start of our day, our day will start about five hours before then. Just gonna have a bit of the old coffee, coffee on the go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Castle. So where are you, man? Geordie Land. Smoothest little transition there, but we'll, <laughs> we'll go with it. 
how are we for fuel? I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right for a little bit further. I think we're about halfway there. But yeah, IRL for us. Um, been wet, which is a bit, a bit crap because it's supposed to be summer. But yeah, been uh, oh, torrential rain the last two days. It's been horrific. It's been interfering with streams. We had a stream cut a little bit short a few weeks ago on uh, Moss Valley uh, because of weather and uh, even today and yesterday the weather was quite uh, the weather the internet was quite intermittent um, with the weather it's, it's mental I think it's absolutely mental that the, the rain affects our cable under the ground but what do I know not a lot usually I feel like I might be going a bit quick. I think I am. There we go. <laughs> we'll dip it just as we reach the camera. Here's a 50. Be able to get get this this uh, this delivery in today, and then um, this evening <laughs> got me wrestling to watch tonight. Money in the bank. Anyone watch wrestling? I am quite the avid fan. So yeah, that's that's going to be my late night viewing tonight. British Grand Prix this weekend as well. So got all that going. I'm not sleeping this weekend. Uh, British Grand Prix, and then uh, I'll probably in between at some point. I'll, uh, I'll catch the uh, the Xfinity uh, NASCAR Xfinity is um, Chicago uh, street circuit so then after on Sunday evening I'll, uh, I'll catch the uh, the Cup Series we've got uh, three three Brits pole second and third sitting uh, at Silverstone Sunday going to be exciting Especially after uh, my boy Georgie Russell's win last weekend. So by the time this comes out, you'll know whether I'm happy or not. We're staying on, we're staying on. And then for the Cup Series, I need my boy Bubba to get a win. But some road circuits are not for him, so that means he's not going to get one this weekend. But my boy Bubba needs a, needs a win to make playoffs. I think I saw, just before I um, hit record, Carl Larson has um, got pole position. I'll watch the highlights back for, for some of that later as well. Honestly, just, just busy watching at the minute. I have... I did. I restarted watching uh, Picard. I only watched the first season of Picard, which I don't usually have Amazon very often. Um, I've got Prime at the minute, so started um, Picard again. I'm on halfway through season two, or the end of season two, I think. It's, it's all right. So I just. I think I expect too much sometimes from programs. I wasn't impressed with Fallout. I didn't even finish Fallout. I stopped after like three or four episodes. So I might try and restart that before I uh, drop the Amazon again. And I want to restart the boys. Me and the missus started watching the boys when it first came out years ago. So uh, yeah, I might restart that and watch that. Because I think this season, it's coming or the next season, is the last one. So by the time I get around to watching it, it'll, it'll probably be it. And I thought, I, th I thought, I thought, I thought Stranger Things had finished. Now that's a Netflix thing. I thought Stranger Things had finished, but I read a thing online that the next season of Stranger Things was would feel like what, five or eight 
I knew it, I knew it. Five great little films. I knew I was going too quick. Just as I saw the yellow box, I looked at the uh, speeder. Five miles too quick. And I didn't think I'd get in speeding tickets because of the weight. The truck's a beast, what do I know? I felt like I was going the same speed as everything, everyone else around me. Unless they just slowed down right on, on the camera. So we have services coming up here. We might come off and get some fuel, I think. Let's keep an eye out for our services junction. I think the, uh, the next DLC is closely upon us for ETS2 as well, isn't it? I need to uh, check that as well. Am I going round the back? Okay. Let's find a new route. I'm not sure if I'm going round the back or going through. Does it matter? Probably. Let's see if I can see a little symbol that I'm not. No, we'll go, we'll go around the back. What's this one? <laughs> Bloody wing mirrors in the way. Can we see? Got a truck right behind me. We've gone right round. Sorry, fella. Sorry about that, mate. I feel like I'm... Oh, no, it's there. It's in front. That's okay. Yeah, I felt like I'd missed it, but I hadn't got there yet. Never mind. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Yeah, you find me a new route, mate. Let's go uh, get some fuel. See how much it costs. It's going to be expensive. It's going to be really expensive. 156 a litre. To be fair, that's not too bad. 156 a litre on diesel. Uh, 950 pounds, though. Sorry, sir. I was checking you weren't coming up behind me the other way. Seems he needed to get quite tankful as well. Oh, someone else probably been speeding as well. Naughty boy. So where are we with uh, oh, 20, 24 miles out probably could have made the journey left. sometimes it's easier to get fuel at the service stations than trying to get into a garage in town there seems to be a lot of police about they heard I was coming through Unless maybe I was speeding, he was about to uh, put his blues on for me as I start to brake. Turn left. They do just sort of appear behind you when you're speeding. The game's good like that. Well, you're going quick there, eh, right, sir? It's time to spawn a policeman. The Angel of the North over there? Wanna. See it. There it is.
looking over these kind Geordie folk. Salt of the earth type, salt of the earth. I'm sure there are some, but I've never met a Geordie I didn't like. Castle. Is that the football stadium over there? Possibly. At the roundabout, take your first exit. Will do, my friends. Keep right. It's Aldi over there. Somewhere, I think. Good driving. Yeah, you say that just as I rumble up on the curb. It'll buff out. Is it saying? Yeah, it's over here, isn't it? Oh, I've got a back in there. That's why. There we go. Right, this will be a. Oh, hit a car. <laughs> this will be an out of um, cab job. Oh, you're all right, you big tart. And that looked like the cab smiling at me. Not the cab, the trailer smiling at me. Simple things, folks. Simple things. Break on, engine off, deliver the load. Not sure if we even got a fine for rubbing that car or if it just set the alarm off. About a twenty-three grand, six hundred and forty eight XP. And so we don't we don't get a lot on the XP front for these jobs. So we'll just go and have a little look at our garages. So Edinburgh has one truck, so Cambridge is five, Newcastle five, Edinburgh. So oh that's the only other British one we have. Okay, so can we? We could expand it. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put the uh, we'll, we'll put three trucks in at first. Actually, so we need to find ourselves a Volvo dealer. 
Spotify online. My fleet. We want right hand drive. Purchase. And that will go to Edinburgh. Okay. That's that done. Next up, we need to. Where is our, our recruitment agency? There it is. Hire a driver. Oh, I thought we'd have um, better skills out there. I think we'll take on Edward. Should we take Edward? I don't think it's going to make much difference, is it? What would be nice if we had someone who had some uh, long distance. This is long distance. So the symbols have changed a little bit. That's long distance. Someone who can already do a job or two. Um, I think we we'll go with um, Mikau. I've got very many skills, but he's got a bit of long distance and he's got one uh, for fuel economy, so that's why I'll take him on. And he too can move to Edinburgh. Welcome to the team, mate. Nice. Down to 83 grand. But if we have a look at our driver manager, we are now 14 employees plus ourselves. We're going to have to start to do as well as maybe try and get a few more trailers that sort of boosts the income but seven owned average profit so profit from the last seven days was nearly a million average daily profit is 130 so every two days we can buy a new truck that's cool that's cool but that is it for another delivery and another episode so hope you've enjoyed it nice little chat with you like I say, hopefully we'll be live next Sunday. If not, I will get another pre-record up. But if you've enjoyed this one, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.